Hi guys, I'd like to bring attention to something that is only important to a very small group of people, but for those people, this is significantly important. Uh, just in case you ever ran into it, it would be very annoying to debug. So having now just debugged it myself, I would like to discuss uh, on camera for any other person who ever runs into the same problem, uh, an interesting fact about matrices in Warcraft 3. So I wrote a piece of software to generate Warcraft 3 models. I I've already got editing models through software. I've had that for many years. Uh, but I wrote a particular little script here today that basically generates these circular moving pie models. Uh, now, the details of exactly what they are is not very important. They're intended to be a test of the no maximum number of possible matrices that a particular Warcraft 3 model can have. So what is significant is to understand that each of these various generated pies, um, or you know whatever you want to call this white circle, is something that only uses translation. So if we go into the actual Warcraft model files that are being generated, uh, you can see that each of them just has a small translation block on the tips of the, the edges of this circle that is moving up and down uh, all the way around the circle. So the, you know, what, what that motion is doing is not particularly important. Uh, I believe it was just generated with a you know, basic trigonometric function like cosine, but uh, as far as a what, what we learn, what I learned from this test today is that uh, with my generated nodes, if we go to the groups block, and this is what's really significant, uh, there are 255 groups in the first model that I created, there are 256 in the second model that I created, and there are 257 in the third model, and this is very deliberate. Uh, so each of, the, each of the tips of the circle is a moving group, plus there's an additional group in the center of the circle moving up and down. So with that, we have the 255 groups, the 256 groups, and the 257 groups. And then we have uh, up, up the top here, a model that someone gave me that's a particular custom fire effect. And they asked me, why does this fire effect no longer work? And so this is where all of this research was because I tasked myself with the question of answering for this person. Why does their fire effect no longer work? Now, uh, when we look at this particular uh, picture where we, we notice you know the 255, the 256, and the 257 matrices. We know that the 257 uh, matrices circle on what I believe is the 257th matrix, which is of course the one uh, right here at the very bottom, which seems to me to be decently logical that that would be true because it's facing 270, right? So if it was facing zero, it's the the one right before zero. It you know is the 257th matrix. Um, is not loading correctly. That is acceptable. That's how it's always been. And this, what we have open here, if I go to the little help menu, World of Warcraft, uh, unable to open help. Okay, about Warcraft World Editor. This is version 1.26. So this is old. This is a very old version of Warcraft 3. And so we know in the old version, it's always been true that there are 257, or there, there's a limit of 256 matrices. When you create a model with 257, like we see here, it breaks and it doesn't move correctly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this map, and we're going to open it up on the patch 130 world editor. Now you're going to see some key differences uh, when we get in here. Now first off, this model this guy gave me has been having a lot of issues for him, so we'll close that. We don't want to talk about that right now. Uh, but what we do want to talk about is these interesting moving pies and uh, the number, the, the limit to the number of matrices. What we see here is that the limit to the number of matrices has changed, and the behavior when we surpass that limit has also drastically changed. Um, so first off, 257 is right out, because what I've basically deduced to this point is that the limit has now reduced and is now below 256, which used to be a legal total to have, as we just saw. Uh, so we'll delete the 257, because we don't care about that. It was always broken, and it's broken here. Uh, so now we have the question of, what about the 256? Now we clearly see that the 256 is not working correctly, and if I place something even just like a standard sorceress, you can see that the 256 matrix test model in the newer patches is going absolutely crazy. Uh, that its matrices are, you know, just bouncing all around, attaching to the sorceress willy-nilly as they would like. Uh, it seems to be the case, you know, if you look mathematically at what we see moving here, uh, they're, they're frequently they're things near to the origin. Uh, so it's probably, you know, the lower indices, the ones that correspond to the ones on the sorceress because it's just reading garbage values. Um, but, but knowing that to be the case, right, so it's very clear that 256 is no longer a legal number of matrices. So we delete that, and we look at the one that has 255. Now this is interesting because when you look at it, you see that 255 is now still a totally legal number of matrices in a model. So this is significant 
because after all of my research that I looked in, um, this particular model that the guy gave me, uh, which I had open and it was originally called Bad Tower, has exactly 256 groups. So he has managed to find somewhere on the Hive Workshop or one of these fan websites, someone else who apparently conducted this, ex same, this very same experiment and then went on to create a Warcraft 3 model that had exactly 256 groups. And as a result, deleting all of my test models, uh, using this content that actually is user-created content that I was asked about, uh, we have this, which is happening, and this is what this fire thing looks like uh, when we try to load it on patch 130, on the newest patch. But on the older patches, and we can again delete my test models, so we don't have to worry about that, um, you can see that this fire effect looks very deliberate, exactly how it was originally intended to look, because the 256 matrices in the older patch uh, was a legal count of matrices. Now, the other thing I want to say about this that's very interesting is that uh, recently I was working on building animations into the fan-based world editor, Hiveway. Uh, this actually caused me to encounter uh, basically the, where I had to write a vertex shader to handle the animating of models. And this led me to the realization that the, the reason that we have a change between patch 126 and patch 130, the reason that you are now only allowed to have 255 matrix groups is actually very deliberate and very interesting. Um, essentially, within this shader code, there is a point at which we do we want to fetch a matrix and retrieve based on a particular number, uh, based on like the indexing into those matrices, uh, what block to retrieve. If at any point in time, you have something in these shaders that are loading an, an invalid block or block zero, which is ten, tends to be the default value in memory. Uh, you can have if you if you shift everything down by one and insert a zeroth matrix, then that allows your zero elements to load a zero value, uh, which makes the mathematics here very simple. That you can have uh, like one or two bones, but be summing three things and have the zeroth one always load zero. Basically, uh, this was not my idea. I got this idea from uh, the user Ghost Wolf in, in the uh, Hive Workshop community. But uh, essentially, right, the, I think what's happened is that Blizzard Entertainment has gone into a, some similar system like this, uh, obviously not exactly the same one, in the actual game, and has started to add some of these optimizations that had been community invented for uh, fan software, uh, like, like what I was seeing here when I was trying to make uh, this you know, an update to have animations in, in the uh, Hiveway World Editor software. So what that made me realize is that I don't think, I honestly do not think that Blizzard Entertainment will ever reverse this decision to reduce the limit to the number of matrices from 256 to 255 because they have made their code probably significantly faster for some benchmarks they're working on. I know they mentioned at the uh, like the panels and when they talked to the people about Warcraft 3 Reforged that they've brought in graphics programmers from uh, World of Warcraft to try to update Warcraft 3. So I'm guessing, just a guess, that some of those programmers who understand this even better than I do came in here and said, well, we need to use uh, an additional zero matrix that always loads zero to have a really fast performance optimization in how this code loads. It makes a lot of sense. But the result is that you have maybe this one model, maybe more, in the community of people who mod Warcraft 3 who have reduced their number of legal matrices from 256 to 255, and therefore any model author or, uh, yeah, any, any model author who's created a model like this that was legal for patch 126 has now created a model that will not ever work on patch 130 or going forward. Uh, so I think it's important to know that. Probably there, we could create an automated splitter that would split it in two pieces and have the two pieces each have the right, you know, 128 matrices and you, then you don't hit the limit, something like that. Uh, that's actually very doable within the model file, right? So I, I'm guessing that this issue is something that the model author, I can tell him you have to reduce your number of uh, groups and, he, and the guy who's working with this model can go in and he can reduce his number of groups. But uh, I think it's very interesting to know. And so I'm creating this video. Uh, hopefully anyone who watches this will take away from this that they need to only ever use 255 and not 256 nodes. And you know, if you want to be really good, maybe you should just use half that many because eh, why the heck not? So, uh, I hope you have a good one, and...
Hope you learned something. Thanks.